Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. Hope you guys like the new format that we're going through today. Um, I'm trying to get the sports thing. I'm trying to get them done as many days a week as I can. I love basketball. I don't get a chance to watch all of the games, but I definitely am going to watch as many as I can and just give you guys the highlights from the night. Uh, tell me how I should do this. Should I just react to the game playbacks? Or what? I don't know. You guys let me know how to do it. Or should I just give you guys the little insider information that's fake insider information because, hey, everybody got Twitter and all that stuff. I don't know. You guys let me know that. But without further ado, let's get it started. So the new look Timberwolves faced off against San Antonio Spurs last night. And, man, I'm telling you, it was a big man battle for the ages. Not really for the ages. But, hey, you had Cat going against LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus ends up on top 25 points, uh, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists. And uh, Cat has... 18 points, 13 rebounds, and one assist. The biggest thing, the biggest story coming out of the night was a lot of people were saying that Demarcus Aldridge doesn't have it anymore, and he just begs the difference. He felt like he wasn't getting enough touches. And with a team like the San Antonio Spurs, I can definitely see how you feel that way. The San Antonio Spurs are a team that does not just cater to one ball handler, or they don't just run the offense through one person, unless it's Kawhi Leonard at this point in time. He would be the closest thing to somebody that they run the offense through. They didn't even really run it through Timmy like that when they was there. It was like, you know, we'll give it to him when we need a bucket. And that's the real thing that, um, I mean, Timmy got his points, don't get me wrong, he got his touches, but this is what LaMarcus Aldridge is saying. He loves the team ball, he loves all of that, but at the same time, he needs to get more touches because he feels like if he's not getting more touches throughout the game, then when it comes time for him to perform at the end of the game, he's just not going to be able to perform. And that is a big thing that I can definitely agree with him on that because when you're a big man, you want to get the ball, you want to be in rhythm when you get the ball, and you want to feel like you're a part of the game. It's just like what Shaq said, if, if the big dog doesn't get the ball, maybe the big dog don't guard the house. I'm not going to go quite that far, and I don't think LaMarcus Aldridge was saying anything like that. But he just felt like if he's more involved in the offense, then he can perform better, and he can help out the team a lot more. And I don't disagree with him. You guys let me know what you think about that. Is LaMarcus Aldridge just trash, or was he just not getting the touches that he, you know, as many touches as he did? Because importantly, he got the ball almost every play, or, you know, they, they literally almost ran the offense through him at times. But right now, it's just not the case. And uh, with Kawhi Leonard and Rudy Gay there, I don't know how much they're going to be able to cater to him, but at the same time, if he's not in rhythm, can he really help you? But at least he gets a chance to prove himself while Kawhi is out and, and, and let us know if he's going to be the go-to guy. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments on that one. Hawks versus Mavs, man. Y'all already know I'm a hometown person, so... I've already said that I really don't have anything left for the Hawks. They did beat the Mavericks last night, 117-111, to 111, but I just don't feel like this lineup of Ilya Sova, Bazemore, Deadman, Torian, Prince, and Schroeder is enough to get us really anywhere. Now, I do like John Collins. He played well last night. 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 6-10 uh, shooting man. I mean, that's all you can really expect from him. Like, at least he may pan out. They were talking about Willie Tavares. Willie Tavares just never, just never did anything. And Dirk even showed that he had something left in the tank with 10 points and five rebounds last night, six rebounds. But so it is what it is. I don't think that really means anything that they beat the Mavericks. I just think that we are an okay team that beat another okay team, and that okay team just happens to be from the West. I mean, I don't expect us to win many games this year. I don't think they win over 40 games this year. And hey, anybody can win the first game, but can they keep it up at this pace all season? When it's all said and done, the Hawks beat the Mavericks. John Collins had a good game. That's all I really care about, man. I'm, I'm hoping that John Collins can can get some playing time this year and maybe we can, he can end up being the starting power forward over Ilya Sova. But the Hawks, man, I tell you, I am so done with that team that I can't even tell you. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think, man. Do the Hawks win 40 games? Do they even win 45? I don't even, I mean, we barely going to go, I don't think they're going to go 500, probably not even going to make the playoffs. But hey, it is what it is. We'll see. The season is still left to be played. And last but not least, man, the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, last night, we had the Milwaukee Bucks playing the uh, Boston Celtics. And uh, as we all know, Gordon Hayward got hurt. I mean, it's a bad injury, but He's going to be okay. Um, I don't think it was any extensive ligament damage. And, I mean, he, he'll miss a couple of months, but he's going to be fine. I haven't looked at his complete diagnosis or prognosis or the outlook or whatever it is, but he's going to be fine. 
he's going to play basketball, and he'll probably be back somewhere around the end of the season or something like that. Like we said yesterday, this is going to be a very good chance for Tatum to get a whole lot of work. And the man, though, y'all talking about Jason Tatum? I'm talking about Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is hooping. Somebody said that in the comments the other day. I mean, yesterday, they were like, yo, you talking about Tatum, look at Brown. Brown is really impressing as much as Tatum was. Now, Tatum is getting more minutes right now, obviously, and uh, but he just didn't play as well last night. Now, I didn't expect him to play as well last night because he's playing against this man right here, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, he's playing the point. But, I mean, come on, man. He's a small forward. This guy might be the best player in the league one day. Like, he's going to be here when it's all said and done, when KD is gone, when LeBron is gone, when whoever else is right, when whoever else is gone. Sorry, I mean, I saw him just go to the rim. I mean, look at this. He don't even have a break. It's like a Blake Griffin throw-in. This man has the potential to be one of the be the best player in the league, you know, once everybody goes away. I mean, and, and he may be that before then. The only thing that he really, really, really is going to have to do is get him a jump shot. If he can get him a mid-range jump shot, he's going to be indefensible. It's just like, like we always say with LeBron. You got to give LeBron the jumper because he may miss. But if LeBron is hitting his jump shot, you're already dead anyway. You're not going to win the game. But, I mean, without Gordon Hayward, you got the Bucks over the Boston Celtics. I don't think it really means anything. The Buc I mean, the Boston Celtics are 0-2. The Bucks are 1-0. Uh, Bucks, Bucks are beating Boston off of a back-to-back. -back. So, you know, Boston had the first game of the series. I mean, the first game of the season. And, uh, you know, they're going against the Bucks. And I, I really don't feel like it really means anything just because you, 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 have, you have a program in place and you think that you're going to have players and all of a sudden you don't have the players that you thought you were going to have. So I really don't look at it as um, as Boston being in trouble. I think they just got to get used to each other. And once they get used to each other and start playing other people, it's going to be, I think they're going to run through the East, to be honest. And then they'll end up against the Cavaliers and it's really just going to come down to the battle of the benches at that point in time. But right now, I am telling you, one day, mark this video because we will one day be talking about this. This guy, Giannis Antetokounmpo, being the best player in the league. A lot of people say he has that potential. A lot of people say, say that, you know, the only thing we're waiting on is time. But I don't know, man. You guys let me know. Do you feel like Under the Kumpo will be one of the best players in the league or will he be the best player in the league? I mean, he's got the moves. He's got the ball handling. He can get to the rim anytime he wants to, even though you know he can't shoot or he's not going to hurt you from out there. He can shoot. Everybody in the NBA has a jump shot, but he's not going to really hurt you from out there. And what I'm saying, he's not going to really hurt you from out there. I'm saying that, that, it's not a focal point. If you give him a jump shot out there, if you give LeBron a jump shot out there, again, if they're hitting that, you've already lost anyway, but you don't expect them to hit it quite so much. Anyway, man, you guys let me know down in the comments what you think. Is Arnold Kumpo going to be one of the best in the league? Is he already amongst top five? Is he top ten? Where do you put him right now? Not going to tell you where I put him. But anyway, man, that's all we got for today. Um, Kyrie played a good game last night. Uh, let me see what we had. Kyrie, obviously, you know, 17 points. Three, three assists, four rebounds. And like I said, you just don't know. When you don't have one of your main weapons, you have no idea what you're going to do. But this is what you asked for, Kyrie. So you just got to bring it on home, big boy. I mean, we don't... A lot of people are like, that's what you get, Kyrie. But, I mean, come on, man. It, it ain't that serious, man. The only thing that we really care about is, you know, you want Gordon Hayward to get healthy, obviously. But, Kyrie, you have your team. You got everything you want. All you got to do now is go get it, man. And, uh... Hopefully they can. But anyway, man, I didn't already talk too long. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. What you think about it. Is Giannis Antetokounmpo going to be one of the best ones in the league? Is Kyrie getting what he deserves? Like, uh, or or do we feel like, you know, everything is just going to, everything is going to pan out and the Boston Celtics are going to be just fine? Uh, also, who do you think is going to be rookie of the year slash MVP? Like I said, I got Ben Simmons. Since Ben Simmons didn't play, he's still eligible. Somebody said that in the comments. They're like, he ain't eligible. Dude, he's still eligible. He didn't play last year. Or am I wrong? I don't think he played any games last year. I think he got hurt in the preseason. If he did, he's just like Blake Griffin. He's a rookie this year. Or they'll count him as a rookie this year. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug.